Hello everyone, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, I'm Maddie. I run EdTech Classroom, the blog, podcast, and of course, YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing how I like to create agenda slides, and more specifically, fall-themed agenda slides to share with my students at the start of class. So without further ado, let's get started. So right now we are inside of a blank Google Slides presentation. I just went to slides.google.com and I created a new file. Now I'm going to show you how I like to create my fall themed agenda slides. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to delete these two text boxes here. I'll just drag my mouse over them to delete them both. And now I can start sort of playing around with different layouts and designs. The first thing I like to do with my agenda slides is I like to have the date at the top in very big writing. So to add a text box, I'll go up to the top here and I'll click on the text box tool and I will just click and drag to create a big text box. And now I'll also type in the date. So let's say today is Friday, November 5th, 2021. Now you'll see that the font here is pretty small. So I'm gonna to wanna to change the font, make it bigger so it's easier for students to read. I'll go up here to the font option and I really like this font here. So I'm gonna use that one as an example. So I'll click on it and now I can also make the font bigger. So let's say I wanna make it this size 60. So now if I project this on the board for students, the font is gonna be really big, it's very legible, it's easy for students to see and it's just a great way for students to see the agenda and immediately know what the date is. So now I'm going to play around with this text box a little bit. I want to have it go all the way across the screen here and I want to have the text be centered. So I'll change the align to have this be center aligned and now I also want to change the background color of this text box so that the date really stands out. So I will go over to the paint bucket tool and I will choose a color. I'm going to choose black and I'm going to make the font white. So I will highlight the font here, or I will highlight the text here, and then I will go up to the text color and change it to be white. So now you'll see that we have this big black text box across the top of our screen with the date and these nice white big letters. Now the next step I will do that I will do is I will change the background color of the slide. So if I click here on background, I can change the background color. Because we're doing sort of like a fall theme, I'm going to choose a shade of orange that I like. I like this option here. Then I'll press done and now you'll see the background is orange. Now for my agenda slides personally, I really like to have two categories. On the left hand side, I like to share the schedule and on the right hand side, I like to share any announcements that I might have for students. So I will go ahead and instead of using a text box this time, I'm going to grab a shape. So I'll click on the shape tool and I will select the rectangle feature and I will just drag and create a rectangle. Now you'll notice that this rectangle is now on top of everything and it's blocking the text. I'm going to bring this to the bottom layer so that you can still see the date. So to do that, you can right click or control click on a mouse and then you will hover your mouse over where it says order and you will send it all the way to the back. Now I can kind of drag this around, move this around to kind of align it to put it to where I think it looks pretty good. Because I want to have two of these text boxes, I am going to, or two of these rectangles, I am going to copy and paste them in just a little bit. I want to make this rectangle white, so I'm going to go over here to the paint bucket tool and I will change this to be white. Now I also personally like to add a border. If I click off to the side, you'll see it has this really thin gray border and I like to add some fun colors. So I will click on the text box again or I will click on the shape again, excuse me, and I will go up here to the border color and I will change it to be a different color. So let's say I want to do this like dark orange here. Now you'll see if you look really closely, it's kind of hard to tell, but the border color is now dark orange. I'm going to make this a lot thicker so it's easier to see. So I'll click on the shape again and next to the border color, there is a border weight tool. If I click on that, I can change the, the thickness of that border. So I like to put it on eight pixels so it's pretty easy to see. And I can just kind of again drag this around and make sure it looks like how I want it to look. 
I think it looks pretty good. So now I'm going to copy this text. I'm going to copy this box and I'm going to paste it and I will move it over and put it to where I think it looks pretty good. Now here is a fun trick. Again, I'm going to put this all the way to the back before I show you the trick. I will add this order and I will send it to the back. All right, now I'm going to show you a really fun trick of how you can kind of make sure everything is centered in Google Slides. So I have one shape selected here. I'm going to go ahead and cl click on the other shape, but first I'm going to hold down the shift button on my, on my keyboard. Now I'm going to click and you'll see that both of these shapes are highlighted. Now what I can do is I can drag these until I see the red line appear, and that lets me know that I've centered aligned my shape so that they're right in the middle. So when I release, you'll see that now there's these two boxes are in the center of the screen. Now that I have added these two sections, it's time for me to also add the headers for these two sections. So again, on the left hand side, I personally like to have schedule and on the right hand side, I like to have announcements. So I will go back up to the text box feature here and I will just drag to create a text box and I will try to center it to this to this rectangle behind and I am going to type in schedule. I personally like to underline the word schedule so you can highlight schedule and you can either do command or control U on your keyboard or you can go up to the top and press the U with the underline button and then next I'm going to change the font. So I'll go up to the font. I'm going to choose that same font. I like for things to be relatively uniform and I'm going to make this font bigger. I'm going to say let's change it to 24. All right, I think that looks pretty good. Now I'm just going to copy and paste this text box and I'm going to put it in the same position on the other side. And instead of schedule, I'm going to type in announcements and add, there we go. All right. So now you'll see, I have the two headers on the left. We have the schedule and on the right, we have announcements. And now that everything is set up and ready to go, I can go ahead and add in the schedule for the day. So let's say that I start off class with morning meeting and then maybe next we have language arts. Maybe then we have snack. Maybe then we have PE. Then we have lunch and then we have science and then we have pickup. Let's just say this is not actually my schedule at school, but just as an example. So you'll see that we have our schedule now. I personally like to add um, bullet points next to the schedule to make it more um, clear for students to see. What I can do is I can go over here to the bulleted list and I will click on the little arrow drop down menu and I like to choose the box option. They almost look like check boxes. Um, I think that it's just nice for students to be able to visually see the schedule in this way. Um, so now that I've added the schedule, next I'm going to add the announcements on the right hand side. So I will go over to the text box and I can add an announcement. So maybe I'll say something like happy fun Friday or something like that. So now you'll see we've created these agenda slides. If you'd like, you can stop here. This is this looks pretty great. This is something that I could project on the board for students to see. But I personally like to add a fun element, especially since we're creating fall themed slides. So I am going to go ahead and add my Bitmoji to this. Now, the way that you find your Bitmoji is I personally have the Bitmoji Chrome extension downloaded to my computer. If you don't have that, I will have a link in the video description down below for you to check out so that you can download that to Google Chrome. But I will go over here to my extensions and I will click and I will press the Bitmoji option and you'll see that now the Bitmoji is loading here for me. Now you'll see I already have some Bitmojis in my recents. I've been playing around with this a little bit, but what's cool about Bitmoji is you can actually search Bitmoji to find a specific theme that you might be looking for. So for example, if I was looking for Thanksgiving, I could type in Thanksgiving and then there are all these options that Bitmoji has where my Bitmoji is in a Thanksgiving theme. Now I'm just going to choose a generic fall one. So let's say I want to type in like leaf or leaves. You'll see that there are some choices here, or I can even type in fall and you'll see that there are choices as well. I am going to choose this one of me riding a leaf like a magic carpet. I think that that's kind of fun. I'll just click drag and drop and you'll see that it is added to my Google slide. Now I can just move it around. I can resize it and I can put it in the corner here or wherever I like. And so now you'll see this has kind of added this fun fall theme to my slides. 
Now the way that I would share this with students then is I would go ahead and press the present button to start the presentation. Now you'll see it's in full screen mode and I would project this on the board for students to see. If you like the slides that I'm using in today's video, be sure to click the link in the video description down below and you can grab your own copy for free. Thank you so much for watching today's video all about how to create agenda slides using Google Slides. If you liked this video, be sure to give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you're not already. I post weekly tech tutorials for teachers and I'll see you back here soon. Bye friends.